Mr Speaker, every Thursday we go out and clap for our carers. Many of them are risking their lives for the sakes of all of us. Does the Prime Minister think that it's right that care workers coming from abroad and working on our front line should have to pay a surcharge of hundreds, sometimes thousands of pounds, to use the NHS themselves? Prime Minister. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I thought a great deal about this, and I, I, I do accept and I do understand the difficulties faced by uh, our amazing NHS staff, and uh, like him, I've been a personal beneficiary of uh, people who've come from, uh, carers who've come from abroad and, and frankly, saved my life. Uh, so uh, I know exactly the importance of, of what he says. But on the other hand, we must look at the realities that this is a, a, a great national service, it's a national institution, it needs funding, and those contributions actually help us to raise about £900 million, and uh, it, it's very easy, uh, very difficult in the current circumstances to find alternative sources. So, with, with great respect to the point that he makes, I do think that that is the right way forward. Keir Starmer. Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm disappointed because the Prime Minister just knows how raw this is. Um, the fee in question, the immigration health surcharge, is currently £400 a year. From October, that goes up to £624 a year. For a care worker on the national living wage, that will require working for 70 hours to pay off the fee. The Doctors' Association, a number of medical groups, wrote to the Home Secretary this week, and they set it out this way. At a time when we're mourning colleagues, your steadfast refusal to reconsider the deeply unfair immigration health surcharge is a gross insult to all of us who are serving this country at its time of greatest need. We agree, and Labour will table an amendment to the Immigration Bill to exempt NHS and care workers from this charge. Can I urge the Prime Minister to reconsider his view as we go through this crisis? Yeah. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I, 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 I've given my, my answer, but what I will say is that I think that it is important that we support our NHS and that we invest massively in our NHS. And this government, uh, this One Nation uh, government, Conservative government, is determined uh, to invest more in our NHS at any time in modern memory. We've already uh, begun that and, and that. and we will want to see our fantastic frontline workers paid properly. And that is, the, I think, the best way forward. I want to see our NHS staff paid properly, our NHS supported, and I want to, I want to continue our programme, not just of building uh, 40 more hospitals, but recruiting 50,000 more nurses and invest, investing hugely in our NHS. And, and I believe that will be warmly welcomed uh, across the whole of our establishment uh, of our fantastic NHS. Yeah. We're going to lovely